sinusoidal startup is that's how you get sinusoidal commutation activated yeah. if you want that. Yeah, and that's it's really just for crawlers. And I mean, we're we're just taking advantage of the the nature of these um, outrunner motors that have a fairly large can, large magnets, uh, fairly big volume, and kind of resemble a stepper motor anyway, because they've got a high pull count, really small um, and air gaps now. And so we're sinusoidal startup is just a way to, to sort of drive that motor inefficiently, like a stepper motor, because then you can drive it right down to zero RPM. And it might be a little bit inefficient, but it, it sure looks cool on a crawler when it can start up at you know next to nothing and, and slowly increase in speed until a point where it can uh, engage a sensorless operation. So, but, you know, apart from that, uh, it has no use on multi-rotors, really. And it can be quite dangerous to use if you're flying at a high throttle and all of a sudden you slam it down into the sinusoidal range. It's going to create all kinds of strange induced voltages here and there because it's going to be changing phases completely out of time with what the it's no longer going to be able to track zero crosses or anything so um but for a crawler it's it's pretty cool but uh yeah. for robotics usage or yeah i don't think there'd be have much much uh of a, a use for that but 